Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBuds Garage. And in this video, uh, I wanted to keep things pretty simple today. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, kind of this goal, right? This goal of uh, $500 a month. Uh, for someone that has a job, an extra $500 a month or an extra $6,000 a year is what it amounts to. Uh, isn't life changing money, but it's money that can like uh, one of two things, either help you pay bills with ease uh, or potentially at least allow you then to actually save money, which is something that uh, a great deal of Americans don't actually do. And um, I wanted to talk about kind of like what you did today, right? You took a, what year was it? 2008 Civic. 2008 Honda Civic. And this is something that like everyone's aware of, right? Uh, if you're probably watching this video, it means you have an internet connection. If you're within the United States, then when it comes down to like going to work, uh, there's probably a car that you're using to commute from point A to point B. Uh, one of the things that like we've been really into from a very early age has been driving cars and just getting into them, right? Yep. Uh, we've been people that you know don't like losing money in the different cars that we <laughs> drive. Uh, so a huge thing that we've liked to focus on um, is the overall idea behind uh, being able to buy a car, enjoy it, right? Or just use it for whatever its use might be uh, and then actually be able to resell it for a profit. So do you want to talk very quickly just about like how the car you bought, how much you bought it for and what you sold it for and how long it took? Uh, so I bought about two weeks ago um, a Honda Civic 2008 um, and it had very low mileage. So, you know, a lot of people uh, told me, you know, I paid too much for it and I understood that uh, where they were coming from, but um, I knew that it was worth some money. So today I sold it uh, after only being listed for 24 hours for $8,900 um, to a guy, drove three hours away, um, didn't negotiate at all because he you know, saw it to be a good deal as well. Um, and you know, that's just that. Yeah, and that's one of the things also that uh, was like really cool about uh, Weston and what he was able to do is he bought the car, he waited a couple of weeks to list it because he was in no rush to get rid of it. Uh, not only did you use it, but Michael used it to go to school yep. and then back, you know, they're, they're, everyone was pretty much using that, that car because it was such a reliable car. It's literally a Honda Civic. Yep. And you took the $6,000 that you paid for that people originally viewed as, you know, what could have been maybe overpaying, right? Mm -hmm. But you understood at least the mileage enough of it being an outlier with it Correct. being lower miles than anything else out there. Uh, and it's just because you're well informed of, you know, what a good deal is and what could it potentially sell for. And after 24 hours of listening, you made $2,900 profit. And this is, this is the whole purpose of this like video. It's, you know, are you going to buy a car in the future, right? I think that we can both agree that if you answered yes to that, if, if someone in your family or yourself is going to buy a car in the future, people normally view these cars as depreciation assets. And 100% in, in the traditional aspect, they are. But if a dealer can buy and resell a car for a profit and formulate this whole business model, why can you not do it in a much smaller scale? Some of you guys might be saying, well, I don't have a dealer license, all that stuff. You are still within the state of Arizona. You can sell five and keep six when it comes down to the amount of cars that you can go through within one year in the state of Arizona. And you did nothing different. You bought the car, you registered it, right? Yep. How much did it cost you for registration? Honestly, I don't have it on me, but it's $68 to register that car. And not only that, but in Arizona, and this is not in every single state, but in Arizona, and feel free to Google it, you get a partial refund yep. on the prorated amounts. Like let's say you paid $1,200 for 12 months of, of you know registration, right? In Arizona, for private party sales, you do not pay taxes. And on top of that, if you only keep it for one month out of the 12 months, then you get a prorated amount of that back. So you're gonna get a refund yep. on that, right? Mm -hmm. um, after having it for about two weeks, you sold the car, $2,900 profit, and it's pretty much just, you know, understanding that you have five opportunities within a 12 month period. 100%. To hit whatever your goal is. We're using $500 a month or $6,000 a year is what it amounts to as an idea. If an extra $200 a month would be something of value, then great, set that as your goal, right? Or an extra $1,000 a month if you wanna go a little bit more aggressive because you think that you have a little bit more experience or a little bit more capital, so the margin is a little bit greater. Then again, so be it. The whole focus of this video is when it comes down to buying a car for a lot of Americans, it's going to be inevitable. It's something that you are going to do. And because in the traditional aspect they're viewed as depreciation assets, what is one simple thing that you can begin to do today to not lose your butt on these cars. And it's simply informing yourself. It's informing yourself on you know when a good deal presents itself that you can buy it, enjoy it, list it with ease, 
and then actually be able to sell it for a profit. So you set yourself up for success. Mm -hmm. So if your goal is to make an extra, you know, $500 a month, it's not buying a car that's worth $3,000 for $3,000. It's buying a car that is actually worth $4,000, negotiate your way down to $3,000, and then enjoy it, build yourself a cushion, and list it whenever you want to. So when a buyer actually wants to come check out the car and buy it from you, then guess what? Okay, cool, sold it for $4,000. Now I take my initial $3,000, can put it back in my pocket, I can buy a car for $1,000, or then you can buy a car that's worth $5,000 for $4,000 and continue to scale your way up there. It's, it's with the very simple idea that all you have to do is to begin to inform yourself on what makes up a good deal. There's little tips and tricks when it comes down to negotiating. Uh, and, and once you become a little bit more well-versed with this market, if you want to turn it from you know it being a hobby to a full-on business, uh, Weston is in the works, right? Um, and, opening up and establishing a car dealership here in Arizona. Yep. Um, and it, it started with the very simple idea of not wanting to overpay for a car. That's it. Uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to leave you with. It's like, you know, when you're going through school and you're learning about all these different subjects that in reality aren't necessarily going to, you know, fully benefit you, you know, in, in all parts of life or what it is that you want to pursue, right? Like how did learning about the 1800s benefit you with where it is that you are right now? And do you still retain any of that information and do you proactively use it? I'm not saying that it was wrong to learn about it, but I'm just saying like, why not learn more about markets that you know you're going to partake in, yeah. right? Like learning how to find a good deal when it comes down to cars, learning how to find a good deal when it comes down to a, a you know house. It's informing yourself and becoming more well-versed, more than the average person, in what makes up a good deal. For, uh, we have a huge focus within our free Facebook group. It's called Flipping Wheels, and all we want to empower you to do is to be a, a deal hunter. For you to be a deal hunter, you have to understand what the value of something is, so then you can either sell it for a profit or enjoy it and not lose your butt. Our, our whole focus is just getting something for a good deal so you set yourself up for success. And of course, we wanna invite you, if you guys haven't joined our free Facebook group, that's gonna be that first link down below. Uh, we not only have Weston that is sharing his success stories, but we have people that are absolutely killing it all over the United States in every different area. People from who just turned 18 to people that are buying a car for you know their child and just really wanted to focus on getting a good deal. That's the whole point of our 30 day challenge and, and mentoring the people that join the actual Flipping Wheels team, but uh, that's, that's for something else. So again, if you wanna connect with people who are successful and are proactively you know, investing in markets in which that you wanna partake in, then again, why not connect within a free group for people that are wanting to you know, buy cars for a good deal? So again, that's gonna be that first link down below. And if you guys have any questions about maybe a car deal in your area, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my number down below. Feel free to send me a text. Feel free to send me the Craigslist listing, the Facebook marketplace listing, the you know, um, offer up listing, whatever it is. Uh, and we'll have you know, both Wes and I that review it uh, and hopefully we can guide you in the right direction. So again, that's, that number is going to be down below. And again, just simply send me a text. I really do appreciate your guys' time. Be sure to drop a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed over to Weston's channel, I'm going to put his channel down in the description. He uploads a video every single day about the different cars that he is either buying, working on, or again, selling for a profit. So again, don't forget to follow him. Do you have anything else that you want to say? Nothing really. No? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thank you guys again for your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on green now. Take it easy, team.